look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, what I'm going to show you in this educational video In this reaction video Is something that's very curious but Something I think is kind of cool Um <clears throat> I've talked about this um, community before. Um, I've talked about how many people believe that members of the LGBTQIA community may come across as threatening or bullying to some people. So what I have right here is a um, member of the LGBTQIA community. She identifies with the L, which is the lesbian um, part of that community. And she is going to actually agree with me. She's going to agree with my point of view on this. She makes a lot of good points on it so i'm going to play her and let her uh, share her insight about the matter and i'll be jumping in and give you some of my analytical commentary of course um hold on as i pull it up i think you may find this very interesting Pride Month is almost over. Thank God, because if I see another rainbow flag on my feed, I might buy a pack of Skittles and start slingshotting them at my screen. No, 50-50, man! <laughs> my distaste may come as a surprise to some people, considering I'm actually a part of the LGBT community. In case you haven't noticed from my endless references to titties and busty Latinas in the past 10 videos, I like hot chicks. This is not a coming out video. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I don't need a rainbow flag in a teary-eyed video confessing the fact that I like big butts and I cannot lie. But it may be interesting to hear that I'm actually extremely ashamed to be a part of this community and look i know we've come a long way there was a period of time when anyone who wasn't heterosexual was scrutinized or in severe cases even killed and as glad as i am that i can walk down the street holding a girl's hand and not face the scrutiny I also feel like we've passed the point of acceptance and are now at the point of blatant indoctrination. Someone has to say it. These pride parades have gotten disgusting. It's not even about acceptance anymore. It's a provocative and aggressive public display of hypersexuality and fetish. What was Thank you. Exactly. It's not about them being able to do this anymore. It done transformed to something worse than what it already was. It's hypersexuality. It's perversion, for one. From See how these people are dressed right here? Where's the pride in that? Okay, I know y'all scream pride. How is that bringing pride to what you're trying to represent? It looks nasty, in my most humble opinion. Okay, it's just everything this girl just said is on point, and she's gonna get deeper into it. Okay, and she said about it being indoctrinating people. Yes, I, I agree with that. They putting all that stuff in public schools around young impressionable children, children who don't even have a driver's license yet. Or even a state ID yet. Okay. You got drag queens going into um schools to read young kids nursery rhyme books. Okay. You go into Target and they have little um clothing things, little baby clothes and stuff like that for toddlers, you know what I mean? Like six months, four months year old and stuff like that, with the rainbow flag on it, symbolizing what it is they believe. It is indoctrinating of the people. I agree with what this person is saying on this video, okay? And this is not bashing that community, but I am addressing the community. Let's keep going. Supposed to be an accepting and innocent space has turned into a hostile freak show. I didn't go to Pride, never will, unless it's to document the absurdity of it. But this is what LGBT is associated with now. It's no longer associated with peace, love, unity, and tolerance. Instead, it's associated with hypersexualization, provocation, fetish, and bigotry. I don't know what happens in the days when we would encourage people to accept themselves and make peace with those who disagree with us. Because now we just scream obscenities at anyone even whispering a subtle argument. This community exactly you cannot and we see it they see it too she sees it if you say that you don't agree with this lifestyle these people will become hostile these people will like she say blurt obscenities to you cuss you out they will label you they will try to protest you they will try to shut down your business they'll try to make your lives a living hell just because you do not agree with them there's nothing wrong with disagreeing with people they disagree with us. We're not doing what they're doing to us. I'm going to let this woman keep talking. Because now we just scream obscenities at anyone even whispering a subtle argument. This community has managed to weaponize its own labels and use them unfairly, not hesitating to label any opposition as transphobic or homophobic. It's funny because we used to be the ones complaining about intolerance. Two girls holding hands in public were at risk of being fucking shot. 
They couldn't adopt kids, get married, start a family. So I completely understand why we spent so many years fighting for tolerance, but we have it now. And ever since we've been shown tolerance, we're now the ones refusing to reciprocate it. We Thank you. She making good points. If you disagree with these people lifestyle, they label you. It's not you labeling them. They label you transphobic. They label you homophobic. They label you anything, okay? And now they've been screaming for years for tolerance. They've got it, like this woman said. Now it is them who is intolerant. They are extremely intolerant to different opposings, opposing points of view. They are intolerant of religious beliefs that may condemn their activity or do. They are intolerant of people who don't even want to try to understand that uh, community. They are intolerant of people who don't even want to experiment with an alternative lifestyle. This is why they keep trying to go after heterosexual people. They are very intolerant of people who think like heterosexuals, like myself. They are intolerant and disagree with our points of views, the points of views that come from the heterosexual community. You see it everywhere. Again, we have to bring attention to this. We need a dialogue here because now people in the heterosexual community feel as if they are being coerced to go along with certain things. They feel that they are being bullied and pressured to do certain things. They got people in politics shook, afraid to speak what they really believe. People in politics have sold out to the members of the LGBTQIA community. They don't want to say the wrong things because if they say the wrong thing, it will cost them a vote. It will cost them a position in politics. So now they will check off everything that members out of this community want. They will fight for people who identify as transgender, who are men, who feel that they are women, so to speak. They will fight for their rights to go into women's restroom. The same women rest restroom where your daughters go. The same women restrooms where your mother go, your aunts go. The same restrooms your nieces go. And also, the same restrooms that your elderly grandmother goes into. They will fight for that because they don't want to lose the vote. They, they don't want to protect the people who actually put them in there. Think about it. Let's keep going. We've now become the side that is intolerant to opposing beliefs. The script has flipped completely and it's not for the better. See, back in the day when I was a little G rolling up on my Heelys trying to finesse the hoes, I didn't even know what gay was, much less what trans was. I grew up in the South, the deep South, like frog in, gator hunting, Confederate flag South. I thought LGBT stood for let's go beer tasting. <laughs> I didn't know a single gay person in my life and I didn't have a phone or any type of social media to be exposed to it either. And yet somehow I looked like this. Yeah, that seven or eight year old me dope slinging and pimping since 01, baby. My idol, if you can't tell, was Rob Deerdeck. And let me tell you, I got made fun of all the time. If only I had a dollar for every time someone asked me, Are you a boy or a girl? Why do you dress like a boy? And I would always get so pissed off when people would call me gay, faggot, dyke, because at the time, I didn't know that I was gay. So I would just be standing there like, what the fuck are you even talking about? I'm none of these things that you're calling me. It wasn't until I was going into high school that I realized, oh shit. I like tits. Everyone around me knew before I knew. The reason I'm telling you this story is so that you're aware that I wasn't acting or pretending or trying to fit a label or any of that bullshit. I never dressed like a boy out of opposition for tradition. I never did it in pursuit of being unique. As cringy as it sounds, I was genuinely just being myself. My interests were never in Barbies or playing house. I wanted to play basketball and build Lego City. I was never constantly in my head thinking, oh, if I do this masculine thing, then this feminine. No, what eight year old kid thinks about that. For an eight-year-old kid to be thinking like that, they would either have to be medically neurotic or extremely brainwashed by social media. I didn't have TikTok or yep. Instagram as an eight-year-old kid, thank God. And I feel genuinely sorry for kids growing up on these platforms being exposed to all of these attention-whoring and degenerate ways of life. They don't get to see that all the real trans people 
are discreet. You don't know that they're trans because they don't want you to know. They want to. Now, let me tell you something. This is not the first member of that community that I've seen that I've come across who are who's saying the same thing that this person's saying. I've seen people who can, who call themselves trans or whatnot say the same thing. There are people in that community that don't give a damn about pronouns. They don't like that. They said that their whole lifestyle that they wanted to live, you know what I mean? Because, like, I'm heterosexual. You, many of y'all, whatever you identify, that's up to you. I'm just telling what these people said, okay? Now, they said that there are certain people in that community who have just hijacked their movement and made it and weaponized it like this person said and just added all kinds of weird shit to it. They, there's people who've been living, um, who claim to be lesbian, gay, and all that stuff for many years and they never, not once, thought about pronouns. That shit came later. It just brings more confusion. Like, um, from a Christian point of view, it's, 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 to me, you know, it's, it's a spirit. You know what I mean? To me. I mean, I know people, are not everybody religious. Some people are. But that's my humble opinion. That's my personal opinion. I'm going to stick with it. That's my opinion. Okay? So some people, like I say, in that community would, would not even like what I just said then. And you have a right to not like what I say without me getting violent and without you definitely getting violent towards me. I have a right to disagree with you and you do too. And I stand, I'm not going to cave on the pressure. I said what I said and I believe in what I believe in. So let's keep going. Blend in as a normal person and live a normal life as their changed gender. They don't want anyone asking their pronouns. They want it to be See? so obvious that you just assume their gender. That's why they spent thousands of dollars on corrective surgeries so that you could look at them and not ask what they are. That's the whole point of a transition. All of these people you see on social media boasting about their transgenderism are the ones transitioning out of a feeling of emptiness and need for validation. Catch what she said. They need validation, like a lot of the modern women. They doing this shit, getting on TikTok, talking about transitioning and all the stuff that they're going through for attention. They're not in the closet. They're in the street. They want everybody to see them now. And when they do that, they have the ability to influence weaker-minded people. This is why you got to have a strong father and a strong mother in the household. If you don't have that, then they can go out to any type of different types of influences. You catch my drift. They're not doing it out of a genuine sense of dysphoria and discontentment with their body. These days, the members of the LGBT community are all demanding that people acknowledge and accept their often obscure identities. It feels like everyone's desperately grasping at these labels, all in a fight to be unique and interesting. But since when did we become so desperate for approval and validation? These people look attention hungry and childish. It's like they're desperate for the whole world to accept and integrate their worldview. But that expectation is frankly unrealistic and juvenile. My sexuality is not a core part of my identity. I don't purposely flaunt it. I don't expect anyone to respect it. And I sure as hell don't need a stranger's validation for why it's okay. I am the way that I am. Whether you like that or not is absolutely irrelevant to me. I'm not proud of being gay. I think that shit's mad dumb. Because when you think of the word pride, you think of some type of achievement some accomplishment, something you worked for. My attraction to women is not something that I chose. I didn't work for it. It's just how I am. Now, I wanted to play that because there was a lot of good points and it was better for a member of that community to say it. Because I've said these things in so many ways. I have actually said directly on a lot of different videos in my past. But I'm glad I found this video because this is one member who actually says the same exact thing that I've been saying for a long period of time. My point of view and my views about that community, I just say it like this. I believe in whatever God says about it. And I leave it at that. But I do believe that everyone should be able to respect each other enough to keep from hurting each other. There's no reason why you should hurt somebody behind what they believe. That goes both ways. Because they try to hurt us. You see what I'm saying? There's no reason for that. I have every right and you have every right to disagree with anybody's lifestyle. Just don't become violent and get in trouble and break the law. You know, be civil, be nice, respectful. That's all you got to be. You know what I mean? That's how life is. But we live in a time where everybody's so goddamn sensitive now you say anything about anything and they get mad and they want to call you this and that. They want to label you, label you this and that. They want to protest and all this other stuff when that may not be the type of person that you are. There's nothing wrong with standing on principle, morals. There's nothing wrong with standing on scripture. 
There's nothing wrong with standing on your manhood, your womanhood. There's nothing wrong with standing on your point of view. There's nothing wrong with that. And if somebody don't like it, the hell with them. That's all I got to say. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this. Y'all have a good one now. Talk to y'all later. All right, bye.